When first starting to work, many people often don't like their first job, and because for a variety of reasons, for example, professional relevance, good working environment, low intensity of work, or because they do not know what to do, they randomly pick one. If this is the beginning, then after a period of time, you will tend to feel like you're not so fond of the job, or you're not as passionate as you were when you first started. Of course, there are exceptions that some people know in the first place what kind of job they are looking for and what kind of life they want to live, and their life now must be what they wanted, or what they like. Unfortunately, this is not the case for most people. Normally, as mentioned earlier, after doing the job for a while, I find that I don't like my current job so much, and I noticed that I'm not suitable for it. And I found that the gap between people is often the action after knowing that you don't like your current job. Some people choose to ignore their thoughts, choose to compromise, choose to continue to work in the job they don't like. And some people choose to face their own thoughts and start looking for what they really want. I have several examples around me. A friend of mine has been working for many years. His salary has also reached close to $5,000. But every day I see him sighing, holding his head to work, and the happiest thing for him is when he's having a cigarette. But at other times, he looks melancholy and bereaved. He used to say to me, I don't think I'm going well, whether it's at work, life, family, or in every way. I asked him, do you like your current job? He shook his head and said, no, but I need to survive and feed my family. I was surprised that he earned so much and that he was not married, and that he was so young and had such a high degree. At his current level, with a planned control of spending, in less than two years, he will be able to do a lot of things he wants to do, or even change jobs. Why do you think his life is like this? Isn't there any other way to live? My other friend, he got married earlier and having his second baby. The baby brings him happiness but also brought great pressure at the same time, because of the need to feed the baby, diapers, and the money to rent a house. He is a responsible father. Working hard during the day, and when he gets home, he helps his wife with the kids. But I saw a hint of confusion from him, his face is written with a kind of helplessness and a faint sadness. I asked him, have you ever thought about changing a job? He pointed at the child, he shook his head, I hate this person, will only spend my money, but I have no other choice. What I'm saying on this is not alarmist, it's not about creating panic, I'm just telling the truth, there's not a bit of adding to it, it's all a living example. No choice, this is the most often said words of this kind of people. Working is always tiring, if you work, then you better don't wish to be relaxed. If not, you will gain nothing. But the difference is that when you're doing your job, is it full of passion or is it full of resentment? My other friend, Gary, he is a more successful friend among my friend. After three years of graduation, his annual salary reached to large hundred thousand. Although there is more and more money in his pocket, his personal time is dwindling. Daily overtime, endless phone calls, high intensity of work pressure, making him miserable and no time to spend the money. Even on weekends, he often disturbed by work. Because every weekend, there are often several meetings needed him to attend. He was tired of such a life, he began to think about whether there was another way of life, another working environment. Later, he chose to resign. Because he found that the job really didn't suit him, he was tired of living like this. After resigning, he changed his job from an annual salary of hundreds of thousands of to a sales job with a base salary of zero. That takes a lot of courage. However, if a person is well off, it can be seen. The new job gave him more personal time, and after work, he had the option of going to the gym for one hour, then read a book and goes to bed on time before 11 o'clock. By the end of the week, he could read books all day. Or go out and have tea and chat with friends. He proved with action that people's work and life are in fact optional. There is also another friend I met during college. He was an engineer, and when he first graduated, his monthly salary reached more than $3,000. 
It's a very enviable income for a lot of graduates and his family is very happy with it. But the sweat that comes behind the glossy work is often invisible. It is common to work overtime to late night every day. A day of overtime on weekends is a must. Sometimes if the project schedule is tighter, overtime all night is a normal thing. He watched his colleagues around him, lying on the table after the extra shift, and never woke up again. After seeing this, he scared out of cold sweat and began to rethink a new direction. After a lot of consideration, he managed to switch to the media industry. Although the income is lesser than before, but his time has become plentiful again. I found myself unfit for my current job and knew it wasn't going to be an end for me, and I always felt that there were more important things waiting for me to do. I wish I am able to grow quickly, and it's clear that the current job doesn't meet that. I haven't thought about what to do yet, but I've been preparing for it. Hopefully, this video will bring you inspiration or even strength. There are a lot of considerations in whether you like your current job or not. Such as what kind of mood you are when going to work? Can you feel your worth at work? Do you enjoy getting along with your colleagues around you? Do you think you have plenty of time? Or, think harder, do you really like your current job? Will you spend another 5 to 10 years or more for such a job? Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.